After untold amounts of coffee, endless hacking on iDevices, and a lack of sleep that is becoming multiple days, I, Gen Z, present to you our next training episode montage. And it's going to be all super speed and in full screen. How you like them apples? Uh, I figured that it'd be kind of pointless to make borders for these episodes simply because it's only minor training of all the warriors. You don't need to see their pictures all the time. You get who's doing what. Not to mention that when you go on the Pokemon, their icon of the trainer or of the warrior, I really see them as an interchangeable term, it pops up anyway. And even after defeating Yoshimoto, he still thinks he still has to flee. I ah, can't believe it. Is there a special stipulation that I'm missing to get Yoshimoto? Because, seriously, I've been chasing him. I'll give you a little foresight into the future here. I've been chasing him for 37 episodes. And we're not even done yet. Alright? So, I still haven't been able to manage him on my team. Uh, he doesn't even want to join. He's just not interested. He's like... Pokemori! I don't want to join the army! So, it's very difficult to get him to bend to our will. But whatever. I am unstoppable right now. I feel like that dubstep song that goes, I can't stop, stop, stop. You ever want to just auto-tune your voice randomly? It's pretty cool because I can reach frequencies at will. So I can't do auto-tune yet. But with upcoming technology, who knows? It could be like that Saints Row character who's got that microphone, that Z guy. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything of that game, because it's awesome! You guys go play it for yourself and see what I'm talking about. And evolution is awesome! But you know what else I've been doing that is pretty bossome? Is hacking eye devices. Yes, I've recently begin been getting into Apple software and uh, hardware. Not really the software. Rather, I'm trashing whatever Apple thought was the right software to put in there. Uh, you know, also known as the blockades to prevent you from doing what you really want with your devices. Devices that can perfectly run emulators, can perfectly run MP3s, perfectly play AVIs, things like that. I've got no tolerance for. I've hacked my Wii long ago, and it's just recently that I decided to get into iPod and iPad hacking. Specifically, the iPod Touch 2 generation and then the iPad 2, so it may have a 2 in both those titles, but they are completely different machines and it's pretty fun. You know, I forgot how engrossing taking on a hacking project can be. I really, it's, it's been a while since I've had to hack my Wii because once it's hacked, it's hacked and you don't want to upgrade firmware so it breaks back. What you can do with a hacked Wii, it's completely legal, don't think that this is some kind of illicit thing that I'm doing in the video game world. No, it's not pirating. What you do with, oh man, freaking ekin has gone in one attack, but I'm not surprised with that massive drill burst dig. Could take anyone out that's a poison type. Uh, but what it does is basically unlock your consoles to do what you want. It unlocks it to do what Steam does already on an integrated community basis, which is on some games, they have custom made levels, they have hacks and texture packs for people to install on their games. So really, no matter what you're playing, if there's a strong enough community behind it, and trust me, usually there always is. I played a game on my channel once called Jurassic Park Trespasser, and that game was a game that came around the time of Half-Life. And actually, Half-Life took some of its inspiration in how its physics engine works from that game, but unfortunately, Trespasser never came to full fruition because the development team ran out of time, they had to rush the release, it was super glitchy. I don't even recommend you check out my Let's Play because that was when I had to film with a camcorder, so it was awful all around. Uh, but even that, even that game that barely made it out onto the market, has such a super hardcore fan base behind it that people decided to basically keep going where the developers left off and keep programming, keep making patches and heal up the glitches and make new dinosaurs to input and explore on Site B of InGen. I previously mentioned I am a Jurassic Parkaholic and uh, you know I've really got delved into that game. You know I really love PC for that but you know that's something that is annoying when you try to go on to consoles like the handhelds you try to go on to the official you know first party main developed companies when you think of the big three nintendo sony and microsoft 
um, you know, it's it's hard to get that kind of content. It's hard to have that community integration, I find, and that's why I've been so rapidly switching over to the PC, thanks to Steam. Oh, good news, the Dratini are around. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone who will best link with them, so we're going to have to do our best and just see what warriors want to link with them anyway. We'll do a little bit of rearranging here. But uh, it's interesting, I've never hacked a iPod, never hacked any music player. I had a Zune, actually, you know what, that's not even true, a little bit. I did have a Zune, and at some point, I forgot what I did to it, because uh, it's been so long that I've had a Zune, because one day the battery decided to just give out on me, and the way that these systems are designed is so, it's not user-friendly in, in the least bit. Basically, you'll have to throw out that piece of technology, even though it could probably be refurbished and just have a replacement battery. But no, the freaking Microsoft, in the case of the Zune, seals up the battery pack so tight that you got to wedge these screwdrivers in there and hope that you don't scratch any of the circuit boards and hope that you don't accidentally pry and break the glass of the Zune itself. So, you know, the Zune is still sitting in my, in my room, just wasting away and waiting for someone with better technical skill than I, because I really have a trouble with just throwing out technology like that, because after taking environmental science, I got to see where that shit goes. And turns out, it all goes in a landfill somewhere in China. And the really messed up thing about that is these landfills are landfill communities. These people have to live there because the quality of living in China is so poor and making money there is so hard to do, but you still got to feed a family as you would anywhere. Um, you know, they have to resort to living in these waste landfills with computer monitors stacked miles high, mercury leaching out into the water system. It's such an awful process and it really pisses me off that this planned obsolescence is pretty much programmed into all the devices we buy these days. It, you know, this constant craze with get the newest thing, buy this, buy that. I mean, I couldn't believe the research that I had to do, and it's why I've been hopped up on so much coffee, and I just had to say, all right, well, I mean, at this point, I'm done. I totally hacked up the iPad 2 and the iPod Touch second generation. So that's why I can put it down, but man, did I have to do a lot of research into the firmware because there are so many different versions of the frickin' iPod. And it's ridiculous. Are those necessary? No. I just think of like how many iPods, how many wasteoid mercury pits are filled with iPods alone in China, you know? And, and that shit drives me crazy because here you have perfectly good technology. You have, okay, maybe it's a little archaic, you know, maybe the original iPod. I'm not against progress. Don't. Uh, peg me as someone who is, uh, you know, like the Unabomber against all technology. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here in front of you playing games today, because that is technology. But what angers me is when companies and developers say that a system can't do something when it clearly has the specs to do something. That was like back when I was hacking the Wii. They said, oh no, DVDs cannot be supported. You can't play and watch your DVD collection that you've bought and collected over the years and hopefully did not scratch up in the constant moves that you've had to do. No, it cannot do these things. Trust me, we're Nintendo. Check out the Nintendo channel and maybe play with your Miis. You know, that's fun. No, it's not. Uh, but I was able to hack it and so many others were before me, that's how I got into it, to play DVDs and then eventually run media files off the USB player and use the Wii as a server. It evolved into so much more than just a game console and it really angered me and enraged me and really made me scratch my head thinking, Nintendo, why did you miss such a brilliant opportunity to make your system at least a little bit something in the competition realm? I mean, we, I'm not going to get into a discussion about, you know, why they were not up to par with this current next, or yeah, with this current gen of tech. I mean, we all know that by what they programmed, kind of a souped up GameCube. But even if with the souped up GameCube, they did everything that I could do with the homebrew, you know, unlocking emulators, getting all my music in a, in a server, being able to play DVDs, whatever it was, hack over brawl, so I could insert completely new characters, okay people, not even just texture packs, I'm talking full on sets of people who have spent their hard time 
in the uh, computer room working on these brawl characters that only they and a select few group of their friends who also have the hacks can play along with and insert these completely new characters with all new custom sets. Why wouldn't you want that kind of community experience to start with? I don't know. I really, it perplexes me. But it's because of that mentality of the, oh, you gotta buy it now. Oh, you gotta buy the solution to the next thing that's gonna make the Wii amazing. I mean, being Nintendo Radio for the five years that I was, I got a real fresh look at how Nintendo handles business. If there's ever a monetary issue, they say, all right, let's just make a new edition. You could see that clearly in the 3DS. The thing hasn't been out for even a year, and they already said they're going to have 3DS XL. And they mentioned, oh, that's not going to be the only one. Of course it's not going to be the only one. But come on, Nintendo. Can you stop with the constant reiterations of already good technology? Same thing with iPods. Same thing with iTunes. The constant reprogramming of things that already work, adding fake software drivers that mess up things that already work. I have programs on my computer, for example, one that I use to make these borders actually called picture it and it used to work so spectacularly on an XP machine now it's gone to shit on Windows 7 and some of the key features like creating GIFs are not even available anymore I mean what's up with that they just completely deprogrammed that in a matter of a couple of driver iterations that drives me nuts and that's why I encourage everyone to explore the realms of hacking. It's so easy now. You don't even need to have any sort of binary knowledge. But I encourage you all to do that. Go on to YouTube, whatever device you have in your hand. What, whether it's Kindle Fire, that's another thing that I recently hacked. It started with the Kindle Fire because my brother, he was like, oh, this just reads books? Uh, well, you know, the problem was he downloaded a bunch of apps. And for whatever reason, this also aggravates me. Um, yeah, a lot of rage. I, f I fall, I feel, I fall. Yeah, I fall into these fits of rage sometimes when I get too over-caffeinated, and that's how I know I need to put down the coffee. But when it's real shit like this fueling my rage, can you blame me? Um, so with Kindle Fire, they do this ridiculous thing where you download the apps. So he's got a bunch of cool free trial apps, you know, like the equivalent of Snuggle Truck, whatever that is on the Kindle Fire. He's got that. He's got like the Asphalt free trial version and all these things. Bonsai Blast, whatever, little games, and it works fine on my droid, for example. And if you don't know, Kindle Fire runs an Android-based OS. For some reason, the programmers decided, oh, you can't access those apps unless you do a handshake every so often with the internets. And, you know, make sure that you didn't somehow download that from our store and then somehow pirate it later so we got to make sure it's the same version you know so every time you play that game it requires a handshake or every so couple of days if you stay offline for a while and for my family we don't have Wi-Fi we only have our 3G phones and that's how I upload to YouTube uh, but we don't have the option to do that constant handshake and I think it's ridiculous you're telling me that this device that I put all my all my pay into and you said it's gonna do all these amazing things and I'm used to having it do all these incredible things because I've had an Android device and I like the Android operating system that was until it got screwed over by Amazon and and they thought they for some reason had to lock it down to the internet exclusively that stuff outrages me so it started with that this recent hackathon and whatever you have lying around, I can guarantee to you there are hackers out there rooting in the system and looking how to make it better. Even if it's something fun and simple as just changing backgrounds where you thought you couldn't, it gives you more power over your device. It gives you more power over your possessions than your possessions having power over you. Ah! Our electrifying Jolteon takes center stage. Nice to have you in the group. So that does it. Oichi has Flareon. I, Diogen Z, my main character, has Vaporeon. And now Ginji Yo, one of our first warlords to join the army, has gained Jolteon. So with that electrifying evolution and pretty much the conclusion to my hacking your tech rant. Oh, and one extra evolution there. Bonus evolution. I'm going to end it for today. See you guys in the next episode. Oh, and be sure to comment what you've hacked, if anything.